I flew across the country to Hawthorne, California for this Boring Company event. I'm inside the press tent right now. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon. There is a proper event happening tonight. I don't really know what's going to happen. I am just going with the flow. And yeah, you can say that I, uh, you know, I, I dress for the occasion here. Members of Elon Musk's Boring Company. Oh, and uh, he's here too. How'd you get invited to this part? God, this is it. This is this is literally the reason why I came, and uh, I would say mission accomplished. Other than that, I haven't gotten a ride at 100 whatever 20 miles an hour. It is. I don't think there's an actual like skate in there. Uh, from what I understand, there's like actual cars driving back and forth. But that's it. That's it. Right here. So there's like a LED strip up there. It looks like, and then I think. This might be where Elon is like gonna do the actual like event announcement, the whole like product launch. Sorry, I'll get the hell out of here. That's cute, that's cute. Oh, so then this is the functional elevator then, right? Correct. It goes all the way down and cool. And just to give you some context as to where the tunnel opening is. It's in Hawthorne, California. And then Falcon 9 is right here on SpaceX's campus. And then directly across the street, right over there, is the tunnel entrance. Hi, it's me from the future. So what happened next was a press briefing inside SpaceX with Elon and the president of the Boring Company. We weren't allowed to capture any photos or videos. And then directly following this press briefing was the event. All right, so this uh, Boring Company event is in full swing, but there's so much to see here, and I wanna give you a proper tour of what Boring has set up here because it's more or less a like museum. So over here where everyone's walking in are these uh, kind of molding machines that Boring uses to create the tunnel's support system, and then I'll show you those concrete support beam things. Notice how they're curved though. So then these concrete segments are what goes inside the tunnel, tunnel reinforcers. And then this is line storm over here. This is a boring machine. And then over here is uh, drinks, food, a, uh, a flamethrower opportunity over there. Uh, let's, let's do that real quick. Thank you, sir. Hey, man. Let's do it, man. Oh, this is awesome. I've actually never done this outside yet, so I have one. I've never shot it outside, so now I'm not afraid to burn my ceiling. Yeah. Okie dokie, yes. Yeah, frame me up well. And it's both valves are turned and I just... Cool. No safety All right, three, two, one. I saw this earlier on the walkthrough, but I literally remember when he tweeted this, and then about almost exactly two years later to the date, December 17th, 2016, we're here and the tunnel functions. Oh, you've got a brick here. So I'm holding a Boring Company brick in my hand right now. Absolutely. This is it. So is this one. And that's like the Lego style, right? Lego style, yep, interlocking. Good quality brick here. And then from what I understand, this is the crane that uh, transports bricks and dirt and whatnot. And then this here is Godot. It is the original, the original Boring tunnel machine and uh, there's just so many exposed wires. You know, it, uh, I can't help but say that it reminds me of Lost, like in the hatch. Over here we have the electric locomotive. As it says, this machine was inside the tunnel physically moving the dirt 
It's uh, it's very machiney, and uh, oh my God, there's like a little driver's seat over there. Over here is Gary Shrine. Gary the snail is literally in there, and uh, this is a photo op that is just so unbelievable, so epic, right? So epic. Look at this. Look at that. It's just Elon, Elon going all the way here. Look at that Elon Musk right there. Wait, wait, wait. I, I found some more friends here. We have Dan and Zach in the flesh, but. Dan, continue explaining to me what is going on over okay, here. So we all got little tokens when we came in, and this is like the the pouring company miner status board. So if you if you're above ground, you have your coin on there. There's Elon Musk right there. So meaning he's above ground somewhere. Yep. And, and then if he goes underground, see there's Zach's token. You just put it down below, and then they know. Okay, number one is wow. underground. That's Elon Musk. Clearly, something needs to be done to revolutionize tunneling technology. Uh, we need to be able to build tunnels way faster. Uh, and for a hell of a lot less money. Okay. So Elon is so when I, when I say like, down, yeah, we're gonna like have right in front of the tunnel, like giving the presentation. I'll link him below. I'm pretty sure they're gonna post this it, in it, full. It, you should watch it. <laughs> this is the part of the video where I tell you that I waited about two hours in the line to get a ride in the tunnel and uh, I gave up because my flight is at 7 in the morning which is in uh, just a few hours from now so unfortunately there is no boring tunnel ride but from what I understand um, it's a tunnel and it's boring, uh, <laughs> no pun intended. But seriously this was so cool to be here in person, to really witness a part of history that I really truly believe is gonna better humanity because traffic just sucks. And just like that, I'm back in New York. Hi, it's me, Future Sam again. What happened why I didn't get a chance to get a ride in the tunnel, even though Elon said everyone would be riding. We're gonna make sure everybody has a chance to ride through the tunnel by the end of the night. Was that logistically, it was just slow. So they had three cars, they had three Teslas going through the tunnel. The tunnel's like 1.2 or 1.4 miles long. So you would start where you know the tunnel starts and then the car would go through, take the elevator up to the street level, but then the car had to drive back, drive the people all the way back a mile in LA traffic at nine at night or whatever it was. So I got in line, I think it was like 9.15 or 9.20, and by 11 o'clock, I kind of just gave up. At the time, I guess I was kind of bummed, pretty upset that I didn't get to, you know, I went all the way to California, I didn't even get to ride in the tunnel, but that's okay. I think being back here and kind of looking back at this event the last couple of days, it was just, it, it was so meaningful to be there in person at the event. You know, it's one thing to watch it on a live stream, but I was there in person. And I think that to me is really special. Obviously it would have been sick if I could have went in the tunnel and gave you some feedback on it, but there's always the future. And then just one quick note, tech side of Sam talking here for a second. Originally, Elon wanted to do the skates, where Boring would just put a pod on a skate and then the skate would go through the tunnel at high speeds. Instead, they developed these wheels, this system that you know, kind of swivels from out under the car and are used as a sort of like guiding rail system for Teslas and other vehicles. Elon said that it just costs a couple hundred bucks. You could put these on any cars, but it seems like he wants, you know, autonomous Teslas inside the boring tunnels. So that was kind of a, a big change from the original design. And I wanted to just, you know, say that to you. But yeah, this video is getting kind of long, so I'm gonna end it here. Casey, thank you for everything. Dan, thank you for the footage. Zach and Ben, it was good to see you guys. And to Elon and everyone from SpaceX, Tesla, Boring Proper, thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's it for me. Stay tuned for more insane event coverage like that. Um, I, I really have no idea when the next time something like that is gonna happen. Maybe the Model Y event sometime in 2019. But yeah, stay tuned for more. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, sub to the channel if you're new around here, and I'll catch you in the next one.